Hello, we are Michael and Courtney Gutschenreiter. We own Three Brothers Farm in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, which is in the southeast part of the state. Uh, right now we have 900 laying hens, and they're about ready to get out on pasture once, uh, once we get a little green on the ground. And they're over here in a prairie schooner. And in about an hour we're going to have another 900 coming to the farm from, a, from an organic hatchery about an hour away from us and uh, so we're pretty excited about that but before they get here we're going to give you a quick tour of the new prairie schooner with the best nest box roll away boxes and uh, feeders and nipple drinkers okay so uh, come in with me to the schooner and we'll check out the nest boxes so this is a uh, this is a prairie schooner from prairie schooners LLC uh, where our friend David Schaefer uh, sends, a, sends you a kit, which is really nice. It's 20 by 40, um, so 800 square feet. And in this we put the best nest box, rollaway nest boxes. And uh, there are a few things that we learned from the first go around of putting nest boxes in the schooner. And so we'll just show you what we're uh, what we're working with and, and why we changed some things. First of all, we lowered the nest box. Uh, we used to have them up, up uh, the top would be up here so we would easily be able to collect without bending over. This time we're going to keep them low so we can we can still collect pretty easily uh, like this. The reason that we're gonna have these nest boxes so low is so that the chickens can uh, figure out more easily to go into them. Otherwise, they have about a three, three to three and a half foot jump uh, to get up into the nest box. Uh, this way, they only have about 18 inches. The other thing that we did was uh, we spaced these nest boxes uh, about a foot apart. Uh, before, we've had nest boxes right up next to each other, and we tend to make a few turns with our schooner. So we space them so they have a little bit of room to flex. So we, uh, with the way we mounted these is also uh, kind of important. Um, we screwed the tabs into a two by four up here. And, and then also we put a, uh, a board down here to brace the bottom. Um, I've seen a lot of other places and we used to do this. We used to not put a board down here and uh, thought that that was okay, but the eggs would start to crack because the, the angle, went, the angle uh, would allow the eggs to roll too fast. Bracing them up like that makes them nice and level. Uh, the eggs don't, don't crack that way. Why don't you come closer and I'll show you how to work the nest box. So the chickens will jump up on here and go in the nest box. They lay an egg on this brown AstroTurf material, uh, which is nice and soft, kind of mimics um, straw or grass. So it's, it's relatively comfortable for the bird. And then once all the chickens have laid their eggs, we'll come out here about uh, four in the afternoon and uh, we come with our plastic trays and Hinge this up and flip this down, and we'll have uh, you know 50 50 eggs in here or so, and uh, be able to collect them, which is is really quite convenient. Uh, so the point is that the chickens uh, don't have access to the eggs right after they lay it. Um, so a lot of chickens will get in a terrible habit of eating their eggs and other chickens' eggs. Uh, and it's just, it's a really miserable thing to deal with because not only do they eat the, the egg, but then the yolk gets all over the other eggs and encourages cracking and more pecking. Uh, so this eliminates that completely. And, uh, and as long as they're not laying on the ground, they'll be laying in here. And if, if you get ground eggs, they're dirty and tend to crack. If they lay in here, they're clean and not cracked. Uh, one thing cool about this is that they have they have larger squares for this uh, um, this roll away portion, and that will actually slow down the egg as it's as it's approaching the uh, the end here. And the the 
the metal actually kind of curls up gently. Um, so there's really no chance of the eggs breaking. They'll just kind of, they'll have the opportunity to roll. So there's a little bit of give there. Uh, the, well, the nice thing about Best Nest Box is that they have three flaps. So one, two, three, and we took out the middle one. Um, this will allow the chickens to more easily recognize that they can get in and out pretty easily. And then once they put their head over behind the curtains, it'll be dark and they will be comfortable because the chickens want a nice dark area to lay an egg. After they're trained to go in and out, we'll start putting these on, um, maybe one at a time or, or two or three at a time. And so they'll start to get used to going in through the, through the flaps. So this is another feature of the Best Nest Box. Uh, it has a back. Um, it's really nice because it keeps the uh, it keeps the nest box really dark for the girls, um, and that way we can use it in this type of system. This is essentially a, a greenhouse on pipe skids. So uh, obviously there are a lot of elements that can that can. Uh, affect the nest box, including light uh, going into the nest box and rain or whatever if we forget to uh, roll down the side. So that's really nice. Um, that's a, that's going to be a huge improvement for us. So for when we get our new girls in, uh, we're going to put in a lot of upfront work for getting to train them to uh, use the nest boxes. The idea is that I'll be out here early in the morning for a couple hours just kind of walking around the girls and whichever girl squats and puts its wings out, uh, that means that that girl is, uh, her reproductive system is functioning and uh, it's going to be ready to lay an egg any day. So the girls that squat, I'll just grab from the ground and put them in here. And that just indicates to the chicken, hey, there's a dark, safe spot for me to lay an egg. If they don't have me putting them in there, they might find a nice, dark spot under the nest box or under the feeders. Chickens like to lay under the feeders. So as long as I'm initiating that, then they should start using the nest boxes pretty regularly. Any chickens that I do see lay an egg on the ground, I will take the egg, put it in the nest box, and then grab the chicken and put it in the nest box also. So if a chicken is about to lay an egg on the ground, I can see it, put it in there, and I will actually flip this up and lock the chicken in there until it lays the egg. And so the next day, it's going to think, hey, where did I lay that egg yesterday? That was a nice spot. I'm going in there. At night, I will just flip this, I'll keep this roost bar up, and that's going to prevent the chickens from being able to go into the nest box at night and pooping on that astroturf. Um, if there's poop on the astroturf, the eggs still get kind of dirty, uh, even if they roll away. So uh, they'll be trained to just roost on the, on the crossbars or not roost at all. They don't really need to roost um, and, and stay out of the nest box when they're not laying an egg. Um, so we're going to put in the upfront time to be around the girls, walk around them, make sure that they understand that the nest box is a safe, dark place for them to be. Uh, if they do start laying out of the boxes for some reason, it's probably going to be under the feeders or under the nest boxes. And at that point, we'll just put uncomfortable things at those spots. Um, in the past, we've put uh, milk crates upside down uh, where they lay eggs, and that has that has significantly reduced that issue. Uh, just a pointer is that when you when you mount the nest box, you want to uh, mount it at a height so that the girls can still get out from underneath. Because this is essentially a 40-foot door for the chickens to get out uh, if you're day arranging, uh, which we do. We're going to have uh, four electric fences around our coop, and this will move every... Tuesday and Friday, uh, but for the for the time when they're uh, in one spot, they need to be coming out and day ranging. So, so the fact that they have a 40 foot door over here, 40 foot door on the other side, and 20 foot doors on each on each end, 
Um, they're going to have free access to wherever they want to go and uh, be able to get, find the shade very easily depending on the time of day and the sun's position. Um, the front, uh, we used to put conveyor belts on the front and we decided not to do that this time so that they do have more access. Um, we do have a guard dog with, with our birds so we're not worried about uh, predators getting in under there. Uh, if you don't have a guard dog or fences, then I then I shore that up. But um, it certainly creates a better quality of life for the farmer and the chicken to just have a guard dog and and let them day range. At night, we will probably just uh, close this back up, um, depending on the season, especially. But it's still it's April right now, and it's still pretty cold in Wisconsin, so. Probably just shore that up for the for the girls um, until maybe for another three weeks or so, and, uh, and then they'll be able to come out right away in the morning when they wake up. We are at Three Brothers Farm, and we're in what uh, well used to be the Lang Hens Winter Quarters, and this is a 30 by 96 foot uh, greenhouse. So it's about 2,800 square feet, and we keep about 900 birds in here throughout the winter months, uh, pretty much from mid-November into uh, about mid-April. Um, and then we let them out. So uh, we have all this scraped out right now, all the bedding is scraped out, uh, but during the winter, we usually put about a foot to 18 inches worth of leaves and wood chips that we get from local arborists and um, anybody willing to give us carbon. Um, so we load it up in here before we get the girls in. And then along the sides, we put straw bales, small, small square straw bales. And uh, we lay them flat. And we put the best nest box, uh, roll away nest boxes on there. Uh, and we do that for a couple of reasons. Uh, first is that it helps insulate the eggs. Uh, so it can get down to maybe five degrees and the eggs still are not uh, cracking when, when it gets really cold. Um, and it also elevates the nest boxes off the ground so that it's a little bit more ergonomic for us to collect the eggs. And then as a transition to go from winter to summer, uh, in about mid-April, we open up this door on the end, but they do like to go out into the fresh grass and fresh air. And, and then we also have our schooner out there, so the chickens start to explore that. We'll let them out there for a couple days and then ultimately close up that door. And, and then the chickens will start eating and laying eggs in that schooner. So about the second or third day of the chickens having access out there, we'll take the nest boxes from in here, put them into the schooner, and then force the birds out there for, the, for a night. And then